The simple finale recap, warning, Jocelyn reclaims her power from Tedros, but there is a twist in the plan the article contains spoilers for The Symbol Episode 5. The primary time of The Symbol has taken its last bow. The dubious HBO series, composed and coordinated by happiness maker Sam Levinson, wrapped up its five-episode run on Sunday with a stunning finale named Jocelyn for Eternity. Jocelyn, Lily Rose Depp, accused Tedros, Abel the Weak to Teste, of being a con man and a fraud at the beginning of the episode, claiming that he had been obsessed with her for years prior to their meeting at his club. In spite of advising him to leave and saying different individuals from their gathering can remain, Tedros stays at her domain and goes to a gathering with her record marked to examine her visit. The label agrees to listen to performances by other members of the group because the meeting and tour are in jeopardy and it works out well. Nonetheless, the name is torn on who they accept united the ability, Jocelyn or Tedros. In a gathering, news breaks that Jocelyn's previous beau, Luke Turner, Carl Glesman, purportedly assaulted a lady in their gathering. This was something that Tedros and Sander, Troy Sivan, organized after Jocelyn laid down with Loot in episode 4. Tired of his jokes, Jocelyn gets her chief, Chaim, Hank Azaria, to toss him out and offer him $500,000 to leave her life for eternity. Tedros rips the check and claims that Jocelyn is worth more. Going to what Chaim calls Plan B, he has a Vanity Fair essayist, Hari Neff, compose an uncover on Tedros, outing him as a sequential pimp. Diane, Jenny Kim, Jocelyn's former backup dancer who was hired to replace her on tour, is removed from the roster with the full support of her record label. As she's leaving the gathering, she inquires, it was Jocelyn, right? Six weeks later, the show then flashes forward. Tedros attends Jocelyn's sold-out tour opening night, despite his ruined reputation, IRS investigation, and loss of his nightclub. At the point when he goes behind the stage, Jocelyn shockingly says that she misses him and could do without being separated. She takes note of that the visit and notoriety don't mean as much without him. While Jocelyn is fixing her cosmetics, Tendro sees that the hairbrush Jocelyn had let him know her late mother would beat her with was spick and span. He seems to have realized that Jocelyn was more manipulative than he had previously believed. Before her concert at Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles, Jocelyn brings Tedros out in front of the audience and refers to him as the love of my life. 